First, they ordered employees of a cell phone store into the restroom so that they could rob the T-Mobile. Now, deputies recovered a ton of stuff that they say these bad guys threw out the window, including wads of cash, a pistol, and at least five cell phones. Frankly, they were driving like maniacs and didn't care who they hit. Oh, head-on collision. And, and he's keeping going. And he's keeping going. Look Stashed with a firearm and stolen cell phones, partners in crime take this white Mercedes SUV on a wildly dangerous pursuit. A big intersection, a lot of cars. Oh, just got clipped. From their T-Mobile robbery on Whittier Boulevard in Commerce, they push 80 down Venice Avenue, hug sidewalks, smash into other cars, and blow through intersections. Coming up on another major out here, a lot of cross traffic and a bicyclist. Oh, jeez. With his passenger ditching him, the getaway driver gets to Van Ness and 173rd in Torrance and slows down. Now, this is where it's going to get very dicey. With a pack of sheriff's deputies on his tail, he surrenders. On his knees, with arms behind his head, deputies cuff the criminal and put him in the patrol car with his buddy. Torrance residents are fuming, sick of the constant reckless driving right outside their homes. And I keep saying, stop is what that sign says, and I get them every time to stop, believe me. It just shows how rampant law and order has gone down the tubes. The two criminals are charged with evading and robbery. Now, they did get those cell phones back, but they're, of course, smashed up from getting run over by other vehicles. Reporting live in Torrance, I'm Haley Winslow, Fox 11 News. Wow, what a pursuit. Haley, thank you.